Hi friends, I'm going to attempt to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial. First, you'll need to open this shared schedule template and you will need to make a copy. So you'll go up to file and then make a copy of the entire presentation for yourself. You can rename it for your name. Um, there's lots of things that you can change around in here. Um, the first thing you need to do is I have a mask on here so that if parents were to randomly click one of these open spots, it doesn't take them somewhere I don't want them to go. So I just removed that and set that to the side and I'll show you later how to add that back in. So you're going to type in your date. If you choose to just put daily schedule, you don't necessarily need to put a date. Um, for these first couple of days at least, I am making sure that parents understand that that's updated. And then um, I linked my Zoom so that it goes straight to mine. I'm actually gonna disable those for uh, the purposes of sharing, um, just for security. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of those. Um, but what you would do is you would click on the box, then you click link, and you put in your Zoom link. Um, change these around however you want. You're just It's just creating shape boxes and putting in the times. Okay, so to make sure that um, kids can click directly where I want them to go, um, I'm going to go ahead and disable these as well. Um, what I do is I first click on everything that I want clickable, everything I want the kids to be able to click, and I highlight all of those features, and I just added in uh, links. And I'm going to go to Arrange, Order, and Bring to Front, so that those are in the front. And then I'm going to put this mask back over, and it's basically going to slide behind all of those links so that parents can't or kids can't click somewhere you don't want them to click. Um, now to share this file in your Seesaw account, first you have to go to share and you wanna make sure that you change this so that anyone with the link can view and copy that link, click done. Then you need to open up um, you don't have to open up a Word document. You could just put it right here on the side. Nothing on the side is going to be visible. You're going to type that in. And then you're going to delete everything up to that last forward slash, including edit. And you're going to type in preview question mark rm equals minimal. And this is your new link that you're going to use in Seesaw. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to open up Seesaw. And I'm going to go to my test class. And I'm going to my inbox, and I'm going to send an announcement. So you can do this two ways. Um, you can, well, I guess it's just one way, sorry. You're going to click the add button and send announcement. And then you're going to do students and family members, um, or you maybe just want just your students, uh, you decide. And right now, because I don't have family members in there, I have to click just students. And then I'm going to type in students, check your inbox daily for the schedule. Open the schedule and click on the link. Each icon is clickable. I'm typing much more than I actually told my students. Um, I shared this with my families and my students. And then I just, um, during my first day, I went and showed the kids how to do this. Or actually, I think during the meet and greet I did. And then again in the first one. So you're going to click the Add Attachment, go to Link, and drop in that link that you wanted. And click it, and it should work. Now when they go here, they click. And then they click the Schedule. And it's automatic. Okay, hope that helps. Bye-bye.